I want I want to see you guys run with the flag again. Go ahead, run. You got to run backwards. Oh, okay. Run, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> Perfect. Snap. Welcome everybody to another daily vlog. A vlog that happens daily sometimes. If that flag means anything from Germany. You would think I'm in Germany, but I'm not. I am at Epcot. Epcot Center in the German Pavilion. Just kind of walking around during the International Art Festival looking for something to eat. Nothing says food quite like Germany. Or is that beer? There's quite a few people in Germany. I don't think I'm gonna get anything in there anyway. I just, I, I don't feel like a hot doggy type sausage thing. Definitely lots of arts and crafts around the art festival. I mean, I guess, hence the word arts and crafts. The Hidden Mickey, Hidden Mickey. Along with the food we're looking for, we have lots of art, some of it. Star Wars style. Would you look at this stuff? Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's com well, it's, it's not complete. Otherwise I'd have all this stuff. I would have you guys. This. They have Jedi Cola. This stuff is amazing. Thanks. Do you think any of these were ships? Uh, you know what? They used to be, but they sold out. So they decided to reprint them on canvas. So they only available on canvas. Thank you. Yep. You're, you're the artist? Yes. I, I love, I, it's cool that you're the artist, but that Acme thing, uh -huh. the badge is amazing. It, it's, it's about as cool as this artwork. Thanks. Yep. Yep. So, oh. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take one too. Do you have a website? Oh, I'm sure it's on here. You got a it's, Facebook. Yeah, there's a website on there. Yep. Any of you guys want any of this amazing stuff? Can you guys see that? Hopefully it's focusing just fine. We got another artist over here. This is some of the coolest stuff ever. Holy cow. These people are so talented. Awesome as all this stuff is, I'm still rather hungry and looking for food. I, I, I want food. I don't care what kind of food it is, as long as there's no line. I don't like standing in lines. I wish I was one of these birds just flying around getting free food off the ground. They don't have to wait. These birds here don't have to wait in any lines. They just take what they want. Right outside of Italy, a place where I could possibly get something to eat with no wine. Do we have the boys? We shall see what's on the menu in 30 minutes. 25 minutes. 26 minutes. 12 minutes. 13 minutes. It is time. I wish, I guess I, I really didn't have to waste that much time because I can't read the menu anyway. I'm hungry, feed me. Ah, oh, thank you. Merlot? Thank you. 
I, I know, that, that's not food. So look at that. It looks pretty good, guys. I cannot think of a more picture-perfect place to enjoy this feast. Then right here. I definitely have to say this is an incredible piece of salmon. That is probably the best tasting salmon I've ever had. It was worth going hungry most of the day just for this one little morsel of goodness. Now this is the way to enjoy Europe. It's a lot cheaper to backpack here. Well, maybe not, it is Disney. Very, very accurate. I've been known to do a handstand on that periodically. Like in Europe, you have those touristy places, you know, the landmarks that people gather around for fun pics, just like that. Yeah, perfect. have asked me, Rick, where is your favorite place to eat at Epcot? Pretty much depends. If I'm in that sushi mood, I'll go to Japan because they have a pretty incredible restaurant in Japan. But if I'm in the Mexican mood and I want some Mexican food, it's the Mexican pavilion. But when I'm in that Italian mood, well, this place right here is pretty amazing. You get the incredible food, plus the amazing atmosphere. And actually at the moment, I know I just had salmon, but I'm actually thinking about Italian. And when I want Italian food, this is the place. We shall see. Is it reservations only still, or is there one room for uno? Haha! <laughs> Wait, one, one? Yeah, Uno's one. Uno. Uno. It is, it is a festival going on here, and most of the people are running around eating rather than looking at the artwork. And a lot of the places, the food is the artwork. And a lot of the restaurants are booked up solid, and if you haven't made reservations, you might be out of luck. But because I'm only one person and I'm traveling El Solo today, I didn't let anybody know I was coming to the parks. I might be able to get in. Like I said, I got a seat because I'm El Solo. So this, as most of you guys know, is my favorite restaurant on property. It, it really is. It's better than Mexico. It's better than Tokyo and Japan, or Tokyo is in Japan. You don't all, you're not always in the mood for sushi. And the wait staff here is pretty incredible. Giovanni, who will probably be back in a second bringing me a La Rosa. I think it's, it's, a, it's a red beer. And uh, getting ready to take my order. He's been a pretty cool guy for a couple years now. And I always, and, and because once you get to know the wait staff, you usually come back more and more often. Hello! Wow. Thank you. You gotta show the camera. Show the camera as you sit it down. Sure. And what are these? There you go. Okay. She didn't show these. She just set them down. I don't want to tip the olive oil. But would you look at that. Where's Giovanni with my beer? <laughs> there he is. Hey, Giovanni. 
Look at that. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to have... Are you ready to take my order? No. I'm, I'm going to stick with the raviolis. Good. Thank you. You want anything before? No, this this right here, I might get full off of that. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Time to chow on some olives. And a little bit of La Rosa and what, water? Yep. Please. Is your, is your hand okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Yes, they, they really take care of you here. And look at these people in the background right here. They're smiling on camera, see? <laughs> that I think is kind of strange. I, I, I really don't understand it. But you take a green olive, a, a, a beautiful green olive, and some saucy olive oil, and you dip an olive in olive oil. It, it shouldn't work, but it does. And this is what I came for. Would you guys look out? The plate is hot. The, the, the plate is hot. Look at those, look at those raviolis. It is the art festival after all, and that is pretty artful. I finished my meal. I am totally 100% stuffed, but she came by asking, are you ready for the best part? Are you, what is the best part of raviolis, right? It can't get better than raviolis, right? Or so I thought. Take a look, take a gander at that cheesecake, that ricotta. It's made out of ricotta cheese. Yum. No, take it, take it. I don't, th no, your hands are full. You know you're incredible, right? The best waiter ever. Why, he's, he's a pretty amazing guy. Getting so old, it's so hard to put a backpack on nowadays. Anyway, that was a pretty tasty meal. If any of you guys at Epcot want some Italian, talk to this guy. This guy right here. <laughs> well, see you later, everybody. Bye bye, ciao. So, talk to that guy right there. He'll hook you up with some incredible food. That's, there you go. <laughs> uh, bye bye. We'll see you all next trip home. Bye bye. Ah. Uh, Full, 100% full. Definitely an amazing restaurant and an amazing part of Epcot. I'd ask, how large is Epcot? Now, Disney has four major theme parks here at Walt Disney World. A lot of people say, oh, I don't like. Epcot. I don't like Animal Kingdom. I like Walt Disney World. And I don't understand what that means half the time. I mean, I do know, but I don't get why they say that because the whole place is Walt Disney World. You got the Magic Kingdom, which is what people consider Walt Disney World. But Walt Disney World is everything. But just here at Epcot alone, I've been spending about four hours already. It took me four hours to get from Spaceship Earth, which is right there, just over here to Italy. It took four hours to get here. I still have to go all the way around the lake. Whoop, past it. Where am I at? This way, back to Spaceship. There, there, there it is, Spaceship Earth. I have to go, I'm only halfway after four hours. That's how long it takes when there's a festival going on. And it's not like there's a million people here. I mean, there probably is, but the park is so massive. Like I said before, you still have elbow room. It's over here in the pavilion where they normally have concerts. I think they're having Broadway stars that do things like The Lion King and stuff like that. People from Broadway, from Broadway, which is in Louisiana or New York or somewhere, down here doing songs from their Broadway pl Broadway shows. You can smile just like they do in the picture. Go ahead. Tell me, sure that 
Incredible, right? Now I've seen a couple live bands there. I've seen oh god, I've seen Journey down there. I've seen Men at Work down there. Uh, who was the last band? Berlin. And now I've seen somebody from Broadway, from actual Broadway. I mean, yeah, I could do better. Okay, I probably not. Now this is definitely better than the roadside attraction that I started my vlog out at yesterday, but don't that let you stop you from checking out that Claremont fantastic place. And uh, yeah, never mind. The place in Claremont is better because the American Adventure is temporarily closed. The monorail, the red line, the monorail to, from Epcot to the parking structure is still running, but the American Adventure isn't. Let's start that rumor that this place is closing down, but you never want that to happen because this place is amazing. You guys have seen <coughs> lots of coffee today and lots of art and lots of food, but no art like this. It's the work of art that they do, but the frames are totally spe steampunk and amazing. Look at that frame. Whoa. Look at this. That is amazing. About you guys, but I could use that kind of art. But I'm not going to tell you why just yet. You got you got to wait. You know how bad I am at keeping a secret, but I'm doing my best. But if you guys want to give me that piece of art, it will be put to pretty good use. If you guys will agree with me because there's so many places in Epcot to take your photos and family photos so many photo opportunities here at Epcot okay. but for me one of my favorite photo opportunities is right here look at that you'll see so many images on the internet of this right here this some of you guys think it's in China or Japan or Japan or China one of the two I don't know but no it's it's here at Epcot I mean, you could probably get the same view over there. I'm, I'm not sure. But no matter where you get it, it is quite a view. The thing I've seen on the internet lately is 
when you come over here to Japan in Tokyo, which is a pretty amazing place, this, this is probably the most elaborate of all the lands here at Epcot. But I've been seeing on the internet during this festival in particular, you can get some sake that comes in a wooden cup that they write your name in Japanese on the wood. And I, I, I told theme park hipster Nikki J that I'm going to come to Epcot and I'm going to get that. And you know what? I'm going to at this very moment. So what you do is you write your name on a piece of paper. I was going to do Glass Geek, but you guys don't do websites, right? I was going to do Glass Geek, but you wouldn't do it. So my name is Rick. And so they give you, these are the cups. These are the sake cups. And you drink out of it. You drink out of this? Yes. Okay, well, we're going to do it. Hold on, is that how you spell my, is that how you do my name? Nick. Wow. In Japanese. That's kind of beautiful. I want to learn how to, I want to learn how to write my name like that. And what kind of sake is this? Uh, it's a rice wine. Dry? Dry. Be gentle with it. Now there's no lid, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lid or no? Lid? A lid or no? No. So I just got to carry it around like this. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Did you keep your lesson? No, you can keep it so you remember me. I, okay. I thank you. It. You remember me. <laughs> well, would you look? At that? That's Rick in Japanese. That's that's pretty amazing, right? I'm gonna set it here on this table and then put you guys on the table also. And try a little bit of this dry sake, this Rick's dry sake, like, what is that hard, Mike's hard liquor? This is Rick's dry sake. Okay, one thing I've noticed is it's hard to drink out of a pretty thick wooden box. The sake? Follow me, follow me. Here, 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 here. Yeah, it's pretty really good. Yeah, they write your name on it. It's so fun. It's sake. It's a nice one. Dry sake. It's a dry sake, guys. Here, follow me. People are interested. They're interested. I can honestly say dry sake is not too bad, and it's pretty good in these little... Wait a second, you can't see my name, Kenny. There you go. I don't know what the red means. Does it always have... Does Rick have to be have a red dot or can it be a black dot? I, I'm gonna have to research this because I, I want to learn how to write my own name in Japanese. But yeah, it's really hard to drink out of here. But the wood gives the uh, sake. Like if you go over into the into, into Japan and do the sake tasting, uh, you get like three or four samples of different sakes in small glasses or small plastic glasses. And uh, they just taste like they're out of a plastic glass. When you taste sake out of a wooden contraption like this, well, it gives a whole new, a whole new flavor, if you will. And because it's not round, it's really hard to sip out of. But that's okay. I'm fine with it. I'm gonna go ahead and end. end this vlog because all I was trying to do on this one is show you some food and I think I succeeded in that quest. Not only did I show you some food in Italy, I showed you some more food in Italy, the salmon, and then we came over here to uh, Tokyo or Japan and showed you a little bit of sake goodness. So until the next one guys, I love you all and I will talk to you later. So from the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. I will bid you fair adieu. I let, let, let you watch the crowd over here. There, there's not much of a crowd, but hey, a crowd's a crowd. Peace out, everybody. Love you all.